This is Raps on TV down here at the Old Bailey. Uh, fortunate to be joined by Dean White. How Thank you doing, buddy? How you doing? I'm all good, man. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Good. I'm happy to be here, you know, to try and show some support to Mark Prince, you know. What a wonderful thing he's doing here for the youth. And obviously, the passing of his child has led on to this. So, yeah. it's a good thing. All of us as parents and mothers, you know, we've got to try and do the same thing. Stand up for these youths and kind of give them a shield and try to mother them and get them out. There's a lot of kids are dying, you know, so yeah. it's good work he's done here. Yeah, and we're, Big achievement. Yeah, and we're such a rising epidemic of youth violence it in the is, capital. Listen, listen, listen. I mean, it's nice to kind of be down here tonight, celebrate such a, you know, a, a memorable master, kind of... Big achievement. Imagine, like he said, he was here in his past life and now in his, his future life, he could have never envisioned being here, being set up there and having an event here. Yeah. Life is just crazy. Even myself, yeah. you know, we all have past. <laughs> So I imagine being here, yeah. it's here, it's a whole <laughs> different kettle of fish. Yeah. You know Just before I go on to obviously what you've been doing recently with black box management yep, and yep. kind of working with a really good stable of fighters at the moment. Yep, yep. Obviously with the accolade Mark's got now with the OBE and sort of pushing forward, getting the mainstream agenda for such a, a contentious issue at the moment. I yep. mean, how nice is it kind of to see uh, a lot of different people from different fields kind of come together and support? Um, Listen, you've got, uh, you've got, you've got, you know, I saw, I think, Harry Redknapp over there. Yeah. You're seeing various different people come out because, like I said, a lot of these people are mothers and fathers, so it hits a lot of people, it hits home to a lot of people. He's got a good crowd out here, a lot of people. Journalists, Sky, ITV, you've got Gareth Davis here, you've got the guy from uh, Evening Standard, Daily Mail there. Listen, you've got them all here, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a good bunch of people and people to converse and talk. And everyone, you know, everyone's going to have that compassion because you know their parents so yeah they've done really well to get these people out today and um yeah i'm just happy to be i'm happy i turned up you know took some time out of my day yeah and uh came down and showed them some support you know what i mean yeah i know you've been a busy man i see you're out in the estates talk yeah, to me a little bit about that uh, no no do you know what i'm a big boxing fan and i keep i can't say this enough that i'm a big boxing fan i love boxing yeah. i love talking about it i love watching it i love reading it um so yeah i went down to texas i didn't actually realize it was spring break so it was, a, it was a very busy time, yeah. big party time, party animal as well. Yeah. But yeah, I was um, driving up and down. I did actually meant to do some media stuff at the weigh-in, but yeah. it was such a long drive. I missed it all. I got to the weigh-in, yeah. but I missed the guys who I was meant to see. It's like four or five hours drive. And then we drove straight back. And then um, I went to the fight. It was a great atmosphere. The Dallas Cowboys Stadium. I heard it holds like over 100,000. Yeah, I think it was massive. But I think in attendance was about 47,000. Wow. But still, great great to be there, great to watch Earl Spence. I'm a big fan of Earl Spence. Yeah. Um, and he went out there and showed what an absolute a athlete he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? He went out there and put on a great boxing clinical, went out there, used his jab and boxed wings. Wings around Michael Garcia, who was a four-weight world champion. Listen, a lot of people are talking about the fact that Mikey's went up to his weight. Yeah. I understand that, but Mikey's faced a lot a lot of bigger guys also because he did fight Broner who's been fighting at 147. Yeah. He fought Easter Jr. who's probably what fighting at 135 or 140. Yeah. Those guys are big guys also, you know, coming down. But when you're talking about Earl Spence, he's the truth as they call him. Yeah. He's a beast. And he went out there and he showed everyone that he can box. He's the big puncher. And what he done, he knew what was on the line for him, the legacy. Yeah. What what would be after this fight so he didn't want to take any chances stuck behind his jab stepped off and tried to crack him and he was investing in the body early as you can see he hurt Mikey to the body a few times yeah. we saw Mikey wincing but Mikey got to give him credit he's a very very tough young man yeah. he took everything Spence had but that shows the pedigree of him so people shouldn't take away from Spence his achievement yeah. you know because he'd be a real top guy and Mikey would be a lot of, other, a lot of these other guys you know what I mean yeah. so I was just happy to be there in attendance, meet a lot of fans in America, talk to them, yeah. and uh, you know, just enjoy the show. It was good weather, and yeah. I came back yesterday. Yeah, and I kind of, if you're looking at kind of Errol Spence's resume prior to the uh, Garcia fight, obviously he wins over Peterson, uh, Brook, Algeria, but not of the kind of caliber of Mikey Garcia. Uh, 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 Were you surprised at how dominant the performance was on the night? I was a bit surprised how dominant it was. You know what? Is maybe I was looking at because he was a smaller man. I thought he might be the faster man. Yeah. His footwork might be better. But then I didn't count for Spence's jab being so, so uh, dominant. It was, it was amazing because he had, he came out early and he was just snapping the jab and then he made it a little bit more powerful as the fight got on. He stepped into the jab a little bit more. So 
I was surprised. And all he done is made little adjustments by stepping off and stepping and moving. Yeah. And Mikey uh, couldn't find the answers. So it's quite interesting how he said he went he went through um, the game plans of different game plans and they weren't working. Yeah. So that shows you how smart Spence is. So the Welterweight has very intriguing fights to come forward. So you've got Keith Furman, which would be a phenomenal fight. Yeah. Keith Furman is actually a beast for move as well. Um, based on that jab, it might be tricky for him because he's been off a while. But I think I think that would be a very, very evenly match fight those two. Yeah. I'd like to see that. And there's someone else, oh Porter. But Porter's, Porter's e e's work rate is phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah, again, that's another fight. What, what would make the difference is to see how Spence adapts to Porter's style and Furman's style. But those are fights that are going to come. And the Manny Pacquiao fights there. Yeah. I think that would be good for him as well. Especially as a, if he wants, if he, if he stops Pacquiao, and um, you know that'd be good for his legacy. Yeah. You know the old guard and the new guard. So I think it'll be interesting. There's loads of fights out there I'd like to see. But Spence, the truth, has done a fantastic job. And Mikey Garcia should have no shame. Yeah. He's probably the one of the only people that's went the 12 rounds distance with um, Earl Spence Jr. Yeah. He didn't get to do much, but hey, listen. Sometimes it's like that. You get beat up by the better man and beaten to the punch, and it's just not your day by the better man. You've got to accept that and move on to some, the next fight. Yeah. I think he should really go back down personally, uh, make it a bit easier for himself, and go after maybe Lomo, yeah. that would be a good fight for him, or maybe go back to 140. Yeah. And shining some light on the, the kind of work you'd be doing, your new management label, uh, yeah, Black no, Box Management. I, yeah, I've got the Black Box Management there, Black Box Management with a VCK. Um, it's doing well, I'm, I've, I've, I've co-managed now Shakan Pitters with his old team, so I've joined up with him as a management and advisor. So I was down at the Ultimate Boxing yesterday, which was good. I got off the plane, I went straight to that. Yeah, so. <laughs> so it was good down there, did some media stuff and um, just, you know, working out. Shaq's out on May the 10th. Yeah. So he'll be somewhere slotted in on the Ultimate, ultimate Fight at the Middleweight. Yeah. Um, so it'll be good. It's good for him and I'm trying to get him on various other platforms and get him out there. Yeah. So he won the Ultimate Fighter last year. So he, he's 10-0, he's you know what I mean? He's 10-0 with... Um, and he's had a, I think he had the last, them fights in there were all stoppages. Oh, he dropped them anyway. So it's, it's, it's good. He's a very good talent. He's six foot six, light heavyweight. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, you know what I mean? So he's got that long reach and he's got power. Yeah. So, you know, it's good times. And we've got Pesta, yeah. Richard Riakpo down there. Yeah, the match room, uh, uh, yeah, 20th of April. Yeah, and Rick Pesta's on there. John Hardin Jr.'s on there now. Yeah. So listen, it's a good time. I've got the stuff with my bro and I've got my stuff which I'm doing on my side. Because what it is, is it's like a learning curve for me also. So this is a learning experience. I'm going out there and trying to go into the world and learn myself yeah. and understand and go through certain stuff, you know? Well, Dean, it's a pleasure having you on the Listen, platform. It's a pleasure, as always, that you guys are having me. Yeah. Thanks very much. And it's, it's, good. it's nice to see you looking so well and kind of uh, the work you've been putting in with the, the stable of fighters you've got. So Listen, I only I, wish I you the very best for 2019. Thank you very much. I've got to be there or be square. <laughs> Thomas yeah, Lyons, Dean White, Grapps on TV, Old Bailey, uh, here for Mark Prince. Top man. Yeah, cheers.